This is 94.9 CHRW. On the phone right now is Carl Wolf. He will be at uh, Western Friday, November 30th at the Spoke uh, for uh, November. This is the end. And uh, did you take part in uh, November, uh, Carl Wolf? Um, I'm, I'm trying. I'm still trying to, to, to keep this. My problem is, you know, I can grow the mustache, right? Mm-hmm. But then the, my, my problem is because I'm Lebanese. So I keep on, even if I shave the sides, they grow back the next day. Mm-hmm. So it's not like it's, it's not working for me. But, but I'm trying, man. <laughs> I know. I was just thinking from a Middle Eastern background, it's, it's uh, November every day, basically. Or it's beyond November for you, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so how, how have things been for you, man? How's the past be, uh, year been for you, uh, Carl Wolf? Past year has been very, very interesting. Um, I started managing uh, three, four artists this year, um, which is something new for us. You know, we, we opened Lone Wolf Management, mm-hmm. um, and it's been it's been great. Just you know, as an artist, uh, it's it's always you know I love being an artist. You know, going out and performing, it's so easy and so much fun. And you know, there's really you can be kind of a kid and be irresponsible a little bit. You know what I mean? As an artist, but as a manager, you, you know, everything comes back on your shoulders, and you got to be really super responsible and attentive to everything and, and um, you know it's a bit of a tougher tougher job and uh, that's I've, I've been dealing with both and uh, you know I, I, I laid my bed now I got to I mean I made my bed now I got to lay in it and that's uh, and it's pretty exciting we got some cool artists on, on the roster um, but uh, my career has been going well we had um, uh, two gold records with Mash It Up and Ghetto Love this year mm-hmm. um, Mash It Up is almost platinum as well so finally three my new album came out you know first 48 hours uh, we had we were top ten already, you know. So there's a lot of great things going on in my career, you know, other than the management side, you know. Okay, and so how how does that uh, has that made you see things differently? Because obviously, you, uh, you had a manager as well too, as Carl Wolf. Now you're a manager. What has that affected you as an artist in any way? Oh, for, I, I definitely think so. I mean, I'm, you know, what's sad, and I hate, I, I don't want to say this to my fans, but ultimately. You know, I'm not in the studio as much no more, you know, so I'm doing less of that. But the, the positive to being a manager is that when, I'm, when I am doing my concerts or when I am in studio, mm-hmm. I'm having so much fun. You know what I mean? Because it's like it becomes my vacation. Before, this used to be my work. You know, being an artist was my work. And now it's become kind of a getaway from everything. So, so I guess it does lend itself to, you know, some kind of uh, positivity, you know, for my artist career as well. Mm-hmm, that's awesome. If you guys are just tuning in, we're talking to Carl Wolf. He'll be at the University of Western Ontario this Friday, November 30th, uh, for the November Mustache Party. Make sure you, uh, you come out. This is a free event as well, too. So uh, come out, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Carl Wolf, and uh, one of the artists that you're managing, I, I want to make sure I say the name correctly Little yeah, Jake. You got Jake's. it right, Little Jake. He is, how old is he? He's 13 years old, he's a rapper. Mm-hmm. And he he stutters when he speaks, like he's always had a stutter, uh, stuttering problem when he was since he was a little young, you know, since he was started speaking actually. Mm-hmm. And then uh, he discovered two years ago that he can he can rap, and when he raps, he's completely fluent. But when he speaks, he still got, has a stutter. So it's it's the most amazing thing. He's 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 one of the most amazing kids I've ever met in my life. I mean, he's so mature. He's he's been bullied by teachers. He's been bullied by by people kids in school. Yet he's still so brave. He can go in front of, you know, he just did We Day, you know, in Toronto, and there was like twenty five thousand people. It was, it was a, you know, international uh, thing on TV, and you know, and he doesn't care. He just goes out there and it tells, it talks to kids about his story. Incredibly brave, young man. Yeah, and it's uh, yeah, and it, definitely because of his condition now, he's been getting a lot of media attention. I'm, I've been noticing from global to city TV, every his media is loving him. They're giving him a lot of attention, aren't they? Yeah, even CNN. We just did something on CNN, Inside Edition, Anderson Cooper. Wow. Um, wants to do something with him in December. We're actually heading out to L.A. on the 9th to the 14th. We're, we're meeting with some, some all the major labels. Uh, yeah, you know, he's, he's getting huge attention. We're going to have – I mean, he's, gonna, he's destined for huge things. He's also an extremely talented rapper. Mm-hmm. So beyond his speech disability, he's a phenomenal artist. Carl Wolf, a lot of people might, uh, might see you in a different way just because you're a pop artist. They might think you're not right. real, you're, you're fake. It's right. just, uh, right. But uh, a lot of people, celebrities, like uh, a good friend of mine, Classified, who toured with you yeah. with uh, Headley, yeah. he said Classified is an underground hip-hop artist. He said, you know what, I, you didn't think you would like an artist like Carl Wolf, but he yeah. met you and you guys became really good friends, didn't you, on the tour? 
Oh, completely. I mean, you know, and I appreciate you say that, you know, because I think there is a, definitely a misconception about what I do. It's, it's always been kind of my struggle, to be honest with you. And, it, and it, you know, I always have to fight fight that a little bit. People think I'm, I'm like uh, this, this puppet artist, pop artist that gets, you know, auto-tuned done to his voice and, you know, the typical um, stereotypes. It's just, you know, I happen to make catchy music that goes on radio but something that people should know is that i i produce everything i write it i mix it i mean i'm the engineer i started off as a producer before i was a an artist and now i'm going into management and i'm the ceo of lone wolf entertainment we've we've sold almost two two point three million units worldwide i mean so i do appreciate you saying that and i'm, I'm a real guy at the end of the day i just want to make great music for people that that want to hear great music and that's the bottom line that is the bottom line uh, Carl Wolf, as, as the, this year ends up, we know it's uh, this. We're all basically into December. 2012 is done. What is, what is one valuable lesson that you would like to pass on to us that you've learned in your life this year that you're going to carry on to the next year? Um, you you one thing that I learned honestly is you you have to listen to 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 everybody. You know, everybody's got a story. Everybody has a vision. And it doesn't mean it's wrong just because, and it doesn't mean it's, it's, it's law just because you believe and you've proven something either. You know, everyone's got their, their story, their angle, and their experiences, and you've got to stay open to all of that. Um, also, another thing is, you know, dealing with um, uh, Lil Jake's mom, you know what I mean? Because cause you, you're dealing with a minor here. He's 13 years old. Even though he's a phenomenal artist, you're still dealing with his guardians, you know what I mean? Because he, he's not old enough, he's not over 18, so that he could deal with it. So, you know, you got to be patient with people, you, even though that they don't understand the business necessarily, you got to, you know, uh, advise them a lot. So I guess, really, it, 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 every year for me is an eye-opener in terms of listening to people and, and, and understanding that I don't know everything. And even though I've got a lot of experience in certain things, you always learn something new, man, in this world. And so keep your ears and eyes open and be open to, to, to all sorts of ideas, you know, and, and this will make you a more, uh, you know, a successful person, I think. Yeah, correct. And, and you know, um, I think I advise people to do that. A lot of people, you know, will, you know, you just got to be open, man. You got to be, we live in this world together. We're all human. We're all trying to better ourselves. And um, just just be open to other people's um, opinions as well, you know. Not, don't be too closed because that's what makes problems in the world. You know, I come from the Middle East. I come from Lebanon, you know what I mean? And there's always, there was always, you know, and still till this day, we've got issues. We're all you know, we're all Lebanese there still, but there's still Lebanese fighting against Lebanese, and there's always a problem with, and it all becomes, it comes down to egos, you know, and I, I, that's something I've learned throughout my career, not necessarily this year, but generally, is I put my ego aside, there's no room for ego in any business, in any um, uh, facet of, of our life, you know, so it's really an evil thing, ego's an evil thing, so... That's something I learned. How do you, especially you, Carlos, like you just said, you just sold 2.5 million records. You've been all around the world. You've done this. You have record labels. How do you control your ego? Man, I think, I think my, my, my success ha has come because of my, my ego p be put aside, okay? It, look, I'll be straight up. I, I don't know if I've completely gotten rid of my ego. You know, everyone's, you have no choice. It's part of your, you know, who you are. You know, you hold yourself up high. You know what I mean? If you want to succeed, because sometimes people can break you down and you need your ego. Do you understand? But you got to know that you got to use it in the right way. You got, uh, you got to be a humanitarian. You got to care for people, man. Who, who do you, you think? I, I've got 15 people that work with me and they got to be inspired. I'd rather inspire them than tell them that, hey, I'm your boss and this is the way it is. No, man, I'd rather inspire you every single day and smile at you and tell you, hey, man, what are you doing today? I don't care because at the end of the day, they need to be supporting you. And, and I think the success from any artist, and I, and I tell some of my artists this, is, comes from how good you are and how, how, how good you are in your talent and how humble you are as a person. I think those combinations can make a super successful artist. Obviously, we've seen successful artists who have ego and who have, you know, who are high on themselves, you know, so I, I don't, that's because they're super, super talented, but I don't think it lasts too long, you know what I mean? Sooner or later, people are going to, you know, backfire on you. It, the second that you're not famous, it, it's done. People will, on the way down, they're going to just, you know, um, hate on you. So it, it's always good to keep it positive and, and it spreads peace around the world, especially a guy like me who's come from, you know, I'm an immigrant in Canada, you know what I mean? I'm a Canadian citizen now, but, you know, my parents, went through a uh, civil war 
and it wasn't easy for my family, and we had to flee because of of all the you know un, you know the, the the civil war back in Lebanon and stuff in the Middle East. So to me, it's all about being positive and and creating peace on this planet ultimately. That's uh that's Carl Wolf right there. I bet you all you guys didn't know how deep he was and insightful he was as an artist and a human being. He's here uh, November thirtieth, Friday at the Spoke uh, November Mustache Party. This is a free event. Uh, make sure to get there early. There will also be prizes and giveaway, and including an iPad for the bro with the best mo. So stop by, <laughs> uh, grab a drink, and enjoy the show. Carl Wolf, anything else that you wanted to say to the people? Yeah, man. I mean, you know, I get, I get, you know, it's, I'm glad you opened that up, you, you know, with me. You know, you, you, we get, we dig deeper, you know, and a lot, a lot of radio stations or people dig deeper into what I do and, and what, what, what artists do, in fact, you know, but we do have a lot of, ins- because we're so sensitive to, to the outside world, you know, and I like being heard and I like talking about stuff that's, you know, deeper than just, hey guys, we're going to party tonight. It's going to be crazy. I got this new song, mash it up. Woo-hoo! <laughs> you know, I mean, there are more um, important issues to talk about, and I'm glad you bring them up. And But you know what? It's all going to be about fun. So let me not get too serious. 